market. So this is theoretically one of the biggest night market in Taipei. So I'm here with my friend Joe today. So we're gonna show you some stuff, let you know what's good. And from a local perspective, Joe theoretically counts as a local perspective, even though she's not looking. But anyways, we're gonna show you. So there's always food. This is a classic. So this is a very classic drink in Taiwan. It's, they call it wow frog egg. But basically, if you were to look, Boba? Nope. And then I forgot what this is called. This is I, I, it is from a plant. It's a it's a gelatin made from a plant. Um, so they add lemon with it, which is actually really refreshing. But they say frog day, but it's basically boba. And then if you make yeah. it, you can add it with milk or with that milk. And then you can also add green beans as well. So yeah. Um. So you'll get. In oh, I need some market. Fruit. Yeah, it is a root. So in the city night market, you'll get different kind of food, more variety. You'll see how much we're gonna eat. But we're here <laughs> on a Tuesday night, so you can't really tell how many people there are, but typically if you come on a weekend, you wouldn't be able to walk as fast as we are. It's usually packed, but Tuesday, it's all right. But there's a lot more things to eat and a lot more things to shop. And theoretically, I would say it's easier to bargain at City Night Market than I feel like in other night markets. Ooh. And you get these little stalls that shop. Okay, so copyrighted, but this is music. But you get all these little stores, phone stores, if you want phone stores, clothes stores. These little stalls, don't be surprised if you're buying stuff and they run. They're not, they're not taking your money. It's just they're kind of illegal. So when the police come and check, they'll go to an alley. But you can trust that they will give you your stuff or money back. I'm taking a shirt. The shirt is actually kind of cute. That's funny. The shirt is actually kind of cute. That's really funny. She said, I just. So they've just bought this. The MM's falling out of the pocket. And this is $3.90. Yeah, $3.90. But she, she already said, Yang Jin, Yang Jin, yeah. Yang Jin, so let's forget it. Oh. Sometimes you bargain and sometimes you don't. I like that banana bag. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's go. Can I go. buy it for you for your camera? No, I, I will not carry a banana camera bag. So mean. It is a boba bag. Taiwan snack. Pearl milk tea. I think a banana is so cute. I won't use that bag as my camera bag. Hell Did no. you see the Snoopy bag? It's really cute too. What's this? Oh, that one? No, this one. The big one. The tote. <laughs> So right now we are at, what is this called? Tiger Sugar. Tiger Sugar, which is so famous that they open at least one store, I think in New York. I think they have it in two, LA. Yeah. No? So yeah. they have it in New York. But in Taiwan, as you see, the line is not as long. So we just ordered and our number, it's only 55 NT. And then we are already up. And then this is their menu. So we're gonna try tiger sugar. It's brown sugar bubble tea. So I've attempted to go in New York a couple of times now. The line's always so long, I can't be bothered. But it's weird. It's supposed to be little ones, but they give you the big one. I think this is the little one. No, Not this sure. is the big one. Okay, anyway, so I got 50% sugar, regular ice since it's so hot in Taiwan right now. And it's only 55 NT. 55. 55 NT is like less than $2 in New York. Any regular bar tea is like five bucks. Yeah, it's like a buck fifty. Yeah, so this, so you just shake it. 
So you can also get it with brown sugar milk, so without the tea. But I like the tea because I don't want... You, you have to drink boba tea with milk. Yes. But what happened to the prettiness? The prettiness? Mm -hmm. It's supposed to... They didn't give you enough sugar to... Um, oh, because... Because I asked for 50%. Because in Taiwan, you can choose the sugar level, you can the ice level. In New York too. So Joe choose the least sugar they can do is 50% 50. 50. 50 yeah. sugar, half sugar. Here so, we go. Let's see. It's our first time. They gave me the big boba. <laughs> see, told you. It's chewy. Is the brown sugar really like accident or? So the brown sugar is the boba. I think that's what uh, the boba okay. is made from. Before. But shouldn't this be brown sugar too? Yeah, it's good. It's not too sweet. But compared to like boba milk tea you can get in Taiwan, is there any special? Is there something unique? I do love brown sugar bubble tea, but I'm not so impressed that this is like the best ever. And I do prefer small bubble, like Yi Feng is my favorite. So. Yeah, so in Taiwan, there's two kinds of bu bubble. These, the boba is the these big one. should be the ones that you guys are usually in the stage you're used to. It's the regular size one, but we have something that's it's called boba. That's why you have boba. And then tapioca is a smaller one. It's like very small. They have tapioca too. They do? We have Yi Feng in New York and they have uh. it. What, what I don't like is, you know how like the ones that get soaked for too long and it's like kind of squishy on the outside? Yeah. It's that. Oh. Mm. So, so not good. Not impressed. I don't know. I'm not so sure. in New York, as a as a as a local tiny people, we will say maybe, mediocre. Yeah, it's not bad. Taiwan is known for boba. We're very drinks. picky with our so, bubble texture. Yeah, so there's so many stores yeah. that you can't. You know, you have to be really unique and really good. So yes. I guess this is just regular. Five, regular. Five stars. How many stars? Like a three. Like a three. Okay. So Maybe I guess two and a half. Two and a half. <laughs> but, the, but the price is awesome. So. The price is awesome. The milk is good. Fifty-five dollars so. NTD tiny dollars is actually quite. It's very fair in Taiwan. Yeah. It's very very fair. Yeah. The pricing is but very very fair. I'm disappointed with the overall texture of the bubble. Yeah, I can't believe it's actually soggy. So soggy. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Too bad. On to so this is another boba place, but you can see the boba is actually clear. So sometimes they make the boba with like, sometimes clear ones have different tastes. Um, it'll be like the ones you see in brown because they soak it in brown sugar. But these, they might soak it in just like, healthy ones would be honey or just regular sugar. Oh, and then the tapioca they have here. The boba is peach flavored. So now I'm gonna show you guys something that's my favorite. It's scallion pancakes with egg. But the difference is they actually fry the scallion pancake and then they get the egg. Um, so we're gonna order one. It's 30 NTD if you add egg. You can also ask them not to have your egg to be all well done or else usually it's well done. So look. So this is actually one of my favorite food in the night market. I really like it. And it's really cheap. 30 NTD is a dollar. And actually it's quite filling. So let's see how it tastes. Ah, can't really see it, but you have the egg. That's not well done. And this is the Damn, it's really hot. <laughs> it smells really good. It's really hot. And then it's got the scallion pancake. And she added the chili sauce to it. But the best amazing. way to eat it is you're supposed to fold it in half. But you're not going to get to see the egg yolk at the beginning. Because the egg yolk is in the middle. Holy crap. 
<laughs> really hot. Let me see if I can try to eat it from the middle. So I just take a little bite first. That looks hot. So this is Viv's must-have. Every time we come here, she always has to get this. Um, the sauce is like soy sauce, but it's like soy sauce oh, paste. No. Yeah. Soy sauce paste, and then so it's kind of sweet and salty-ish. The chili sauce. Chinese people don't eat really spicy food, so the chili sauce isn't really that spicy. I want to give you guys a shot where the egg yolk actually comes out, but. I'm having problems getting to it. The screen went out. Tap it. Ah. <laughs> Hold on, I'm making it. She's obviously not planning to share. I know, I was about to be like, <laughs> by the time you guys can see the egg yolk, Joe's not gonna get a bite. Hold on. Joe will get the egg yolk. What? <laughs> so the one bad thing that I don't like about Night Market, they use a lot of the plastic. plastic. But at least I don't use styrofoam anymore, which is good. Oh. Mm. How is it? Throat. Egg yolk. Oh, that's a food porn shot. <laughs> it's like, whoa, egg yolk. <laughs> How is it? Really good. Mm. I usually don't like scallion pancakes because I don't like scallion. But this is good. But there, you don't really get the scallion taste. There's not a lot of scallion in this. But the unique thing, like I say, is that they fry it. Instead of grilling really it, they crispy. fry it. They, they don't, they deep fry it. Mm -hmm. So you actually, it's fat, very fattening, but it's really good. And you have to, have to, have to add the egg. And my recommendation is to get, ask them for the egg not well done, or else the texture will be different. So, woohoo! Yum! Next. So this is one of the food street alleyway. There's so many different foods, so you can see. Look at this giant sausage. Taiwanese giant sausage, pork sausage. It's made from boar, Taiwanese boar. Oh, sorry, Taiwanese boar. We have all kinds of one bite, one bite dumplings, marinated Taiwanese food. So this is the food street. Oyster omelets are one of my favorite things. A lot, Jan. But they're not making one anymore. But we can show you, they actually switched the main food court into a basement so it's cleaner. Oh, stinky tofu, I smell it. Oh, stinky tofu is a must try. And then you can also eat really cheap steak here. And the steak is actually not bad. <laughs> so as you can see, there's lots of food and there's still more shopping. There's always more shopping. Taiwanese will love and to eat and shop. Claw machine in Taiwan is a total rip off. <laughs> Don't do it. Yes, so another popular thing here in Taiwan is a uh, capsule it's from dispenser. Japan. So it's from Japan, but you have all these different ones. And it costs different depending on what you get. But what we saw right now, these are animals holding their cell phones. This is like, this is like a tart with animals inside. Toy Story, little monster, but in food version. Hello Kitty. Much things are just gathered dust, but that's cute and you yep. just get it. It's just junk. junk. Things you can get like that. Let's see what Joe's getting. Let's I'm getting see. two. So I'm gonna get one of these for my cousin because she loves cats. She's a fat cat. It's a little storage box. So let's see. So, so some of them take 50, some of them only take 10. So this this is 60 NTD, so it's like a buck Two dollars. Two dollars, right? It's so like you put it in. To, 300 to adult. 100 to 3 dollars. 
and you get a ball. You won't know until you open it, but are you gonna open it since you're giving it as a gift? Yeah. I'll open it for her. It's annoying, they're always taping it, so it's give me, give me a minute. Sometimes you can take a peek, but you won't know since it's different color balls. I think I got the this one. The so these are the different ones. I, wanted, I like this one I the most. this one yeah, because this she one. has an orange cat. So yeah, we did get this one. The orange one? Yeah. But it's cute. It's a fat cat. Yeah, so here you go. It's a key. Is it a key chain? No, so it's a little storage box. Look, so it's oh, so like you can a, put like a ring in there. Yeah, or like paper clips. Oh, okay. It's like a cute little dust. I don't know why his face looks a little dirty. <laughs> so the next one... This series, the zoo series, I like, so I always get these and I put them in my plants. So which one are you gonna get? I am. I really want this fat seal. But I also like this bunny. I so in this one I have more that I like, so I'm gonna try this one. Yeah, because you can't choose what you get. So the same, this one takes only 10. Good thing I'm not doing YouTube for money and I don't have enough subscribers anyway. So I'll, I'll so get copyrighted. This one is so cute. It's like sad, depressed animals and it has this love. Okay, okay, okay. Ready? Boom! Let's see what she got. This one is not clear so you can't even peek. I guess it's the bunny. It's the bunny. <gasps> it's Is it the, the bunny? bunny? Hold on, stop moving. It's the bunny. You want me to take it out? I am so good at guessing. So I usually put these in my planters, like in the plant. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Bunny. And whenever David waters the plants, he's like, what is this? David's <laughs> her boyfriend. So, controlling myself today, less junk, only two. Okay. So now I'm gonna show you what I said. Um, the main food court it used to be really old and dirty, so they kind of modernized it. So they moved it. So now it's in a basement. So you can see. But pretty much all the stalls sells about the same thing. It's like oyster pancakes, like tempura, like sticky tofu. You can order multiple things from different stalls and just sit in one of the restaurants. So, you see, it's a lot cleaner and then it's a lot centralized and it's very um, tourist friendly. to get in Sili Night Market is the fruits. Taiwan is actually known for our fruits, but in Sili Night Market, it actually is extremely overpriced. So that's the one no-no that I would say. If you want to get good fruits, you can always get it at a fruit stall, or you can go to different night markets in Taiwan and then get the fruits there. So in Taiwan, the most famous bear you guys should definitely try when you come here is Taiwan bear. And there, it's kind of say it's the golden version. The golden version basically it's the draft version, so you should always get that. The non-draft version usually looks like that, 
where you won't see this distinctive red mark. So there's just, also one that's only good for 100 days. So it's like basically like fresh beer. You can get it at some of like the local Taiwanese restaurants. Um, you're just supposed to drink your right on the spot. It's only good for 100 days. And then I got a passion fruit. Fresh passion fruit. Even though it's very icy and I'm sure it's um probably probably not too good, but let's try. Oh, it's actually surprisingly very, very refreshing. So passion fruit, way to go. Once again, if you want to look at the menu, all the kind of food, and then we'll show you. And then a very famous thing in Taiwan, cheap version of Taiwanese teppanyaki. So it's actually quite cheap, and you can get. Um, it's not as if it, I don't want to. It's never obviously it's cheaper, so it's not like good quality meat, but it's actually really really good. But you have to imagine Taiwanese. Teppanyaki and night markets are very um, saucy, so they put a lot of sauce on it. So like black pepper sauce or like mushroom juice or stuff like that. So you can always ask for no sauce if you want. But I actually think what makes it good is actually because of the sauce. And it also always comes with vegetables and then you can often also, also comes with rice and a soup when you eat them. So I actually recommend it. And then I mentioned earlier, these are, this is like a cheap version of like steak house in Taiwan, like night market. You can find it especially in night market, but there's also restaurants. Um, it's not just steak, they have pork, you know, they have um, fish, like squid, they have prawns um, and pasta, but basically it comes with like the meat and then a sunny side up and then on the bottom there's always pasta and then you can have it with no sauce but usually they'll give you a choice between a mushroom sauce or a black pepper sauce so they're also really good as well so you should always try so here is this is what this is um i think i've seen better the chop joe is gonna go get the chopstick but this is what we call tian fu ru in chinese it's here but so it's this one. So it's basically Tani tempura. It's actually quite popular here in Sili Night Market. It's one of the popular stuff to eat. But I'm not sure how good it is. This one doesn't look as good. Yeah, this doesn't this one doesn't look as good as it usually does. It's supposed so. to be a little bit more yellow, like and then, crispy. Yeah, it's supposed to be fried more. And then but thinner. this sauce. The sauce is, is what makes it. Yep, and then this is pickle, cucumber. Yes. And so we'll see Joe's reaction. It needs to be fried a little bit more. Yeah, it doesn't look as fried. You can always ask for more sauce if you want. So Joe's gonna take her second bite. I actually really like the cucumber which Joe is eating. And unlike Joe, we established this she via takes a lot via a lot of um, vlogs I've done. It's just easier and faster for you guys to see. <laughs> definitely, it's definitely not quite enough. So it's a little too soft, kind of like a boba today. But generally it's still okay. And Joe's drinking. Tiny people actually really like to drink. You don't really see it, but they actually really like to drink. Okay, so Joe ordered the Taiwanese intestine, pig intestine um, noodle. So Soup. this is called mian xian. So direct translation is like noodle string. So as you can see, it's like really thin, kind of like a flat texture. And it always comes in this kind of like gooey soup. Well, this is kind of soupy. So you can get two kinds. 
you get Da Chang, then Chasai orders the one called Oami and Chia, which is Hoi Sai. So they, it always comes with garlic and cilantro. But you can also tell them you don't want it. And then the best part is the black vinegar, Taiwanese black vinegar. I put a lot because I like things. Really I will sour. actually put like triple the amount Joe just I'm put. just putting a little to start. <laughs> That was a lot of garlic. Sorry, man. <laughs> garlic bread later. Let's try this soup. So, I think they put a lot of bonito flakes for the soup broth. So, you always have that like bonito flake taste. It's good. Very good. And then I would say don't, don't not try the intestine just because you know it's intestine. You never you can know. Without. You can get it without the intestine, without the oyster. You can just get it plain with the noodle. But you can always try it. Some people, when they try it, they never try it and they try it, they actually like it. It's just chewy. Yeah. Um, this is not like, you know, adventurous eats where they don't do any flavoring, right? So, yeah. it's already marinated, so it's actually a lot of flavor. And then, all of a sudden, I forgot what this morning is called. Glory. Ah, there we go. So we also order morning, morning glory. So morning glory is actually a very popular vegetable in Taiwan. So it's just simply sautéed in garlic and oil. So since Joe is enjoying her food, <laughs> picking out. I yep, she is totally picking out. I will eat the vegetable. Mm. Super easy, garlic, oil, salt. But sometimes in Taiwan, I don't know about this version, but sometimes in Taiwan they might cook it with a little bit of um, oil fat. Yes. They like, oh, not they oil like fat. Lard, Sorry, lard. Yeah, so, yeah, they cook it with oil, oil fat. Oil I was going to say pig fat. But lard, so the lard makes it more flavorful. So this is actually really, really good. A lot of Taiwanese food are made with lard. And then if you don't want it very oily, you can also tell them, in Chinese we can say sao yo, you know, so means, sao means little, and then yo is basically oil. So you can also sao tell them, less. you know, so you can also tell them to have less oil. But I think this version is actually really good. Yeah. This is not that good today. This is pretty good. I usually eat this once in a while. I like it, but it's not something I... If I have a choice, I don't always eat it. So... Yeah. Okay, so this dish is... Stir fried cockles. But in Taiwan, we call it stir fried clams. But clams is bigger, so this is cockles are smaller, and these are actually cockles. So we made it, uh, so there's also basil, and it's garlic, and then we actually asked them to make it spicy, but I don't think it's that spicy. No, I doubt it doesn't it. look that spicy. But these are really good, they're really juicy, and you always get a lot of basil flavor. It's good with alcohol. With our beer. Yeah. It's really basil-y. You get that very clam, like juicy clam taste. It is a bit spicy. Oh, they do. I see a lot of the... I see a lot of the... The, the chilies. It's very underneath. Yeah. Let me see. My turn! Oh, it is spicy. Yeah. What I like about this, oh, it is actually really spicy. Yeah. I actually eat really spicy food, so this is actually quite spicy. It's very mommy. I, I always really like this. There's ginger in there. What I really like is because you get a very, very, very pronounced taste of the basil. So I love Chinese basil. Chinese basil is like Thai basil. It's more, it's not, it's smaller and it has more of a basil taste. It's so like yum. Here. Is this all we ordered? Yes, for this round. Yeah, Jo still wants to go somewhere that she really wants, so we'll introduce to that later. So, conclusion, we pretty much finished everything. 
And then this is separate. I bought it at another stall. But conclusion, all the food, the clam, the morning glory, her noodles, and the tempura, and her beer. Total is 300 NTD, which is 10 USD, around $10 USD, give or take. So cheap. <laughs> so as you can see, even more food. And it's really clean, really, very very clean. Lots of seafood, if you see. Stinky tofu. And to be really honest, Stinky tofu now in Taipei, honestly, is not stinky anymore, so I definitely recommend you guys to try, and if you want to do the beginner's version, you should try the fried version, because the fried version usually is not stinky at all, and then the steamed one with the broth is usually the one where you'll get more of the taste, but it's actually really good, so I will always recommend you guys to give it a try, because you never know what you will like or what you will not like, but sticky tofu definitely is an acquired taste. So try it if you come to Taiwan because we are known for it and there is lots of food in Taiwan. So yeah, when you're in Asia, definitely come to Taiwan. Taiwanese, I guess, flavor is on the sweeter side. So a lot of the chain stores that, you know, whether it's Mexican food and so forth, when it comes, they have to change the flavor to suit the palate of Taiwanese people. So instead of being a more salty, it's usually sweeter. Um, I would say in Taiwan, what people do really well in terms of Asian food wise, they do, we do Japanese food really well, we do Thai food really well, we do, well obviously Taiwanese food well, but what other Asian country food? Korean food, to me, because I live in New York, so I think New York, even my Korean friend says, like, New York has one of the best Korean food. So I don't really think Korean food in Taiwan is that good, but I went to Korea as well. I still think New York's Korean food is the best. <laughs> um, but I don't think Taiwanese, Taiwan Korean food is that good, but a lot of Taiwanese people think Korean food in Taiwan is done really well. What we don't do well is, you know, like Singaporean food, Malaysian food, um, Mexican food definitely is a no-go in Taiwan. Um, American food, you know, we generally eat more and more of it. It's more fusion and stuff. Yeah, it's, I think Taiwanese Taiwanese fancy restaurant is getting very, very fusion. So, but yeah, but. Yeah, generally I think you know you should definitely try different food here and we do really good dessert as well So definitely have desserts here. So yeah, we're gonna go to our next stop. So see you in a second Hey guys So we're pretty much done. We're still looking for a chicken cutlet, but pretty much done But just want to show you other than food and shopping Well, Joe's drinking a sparkling passion fruit drink that I recommended her. It's really Super good Let's see the brand. It's, it's really not good. too sweet. They always sell it at 7 Eleven in Taiwan. So if you ever are in Taipei, I don't know about all of Taiwan, at least in Taipei. It's 152 calories. So it's not that bad for a soda. It's sparkling it's water. <laughs> and then they also have games here. So <laughs> this one is BB gun, and then you shoot the balloons. But to be honest, they actually rig the guns so that it actually doesn't shoot straight but you can't tell when it's not going to shoot straight so most of the time it's cricket so when you aim you do need to aim a little cricket and then after a while it will shoot straight so it is kind of rigged but these games are fun if you're bored and this is like i say the fruits look the fruits look really good but they're overpriced. Overpriced so here. And then you look at all these stuffies, but don't think because you get one balloon or you get these are like pin, pin, pinballs? Yeah. Pinball machines. Kind of. But like the manual. It's not like the. Like, yeah. It's like but, you just, pull it. but just because um, you see those stuffed animals, just FYI, it's like you have to win a lot. Like, let's say, like. I saw something in the front that like you have to hit um, let's say it's a hundred dollars per game and let's say you get three darts but you have to get up to 
let's say 10 balloons in order to get a little stuffed animal. But and it's you want possible. We won a bunch of stuff last time. We, but we spent a lot of money doing it. We play this <laughs> mahjong game. It's like you just match as long as it's like a bingo mahjong. But it does, it, it's pretty fun. So I would say it's really fun. There is the mahjong thing here. Um, but yeah, it's fun if you just like want to like just have a little fun. But they also give you like little candies as like a kind of a reward for playing. So there's more like games here. Like a participation here. reward. Yeah, it's actually pretty fun. It didn't win anything. <laughs> she got lots of drinks. I actually did. After a while, we collected enough enough mini prize that I switched one. I will show it to you because the pillow is still in my trunk, unopened. I, I, what? You didn't even open it? It's still in my trunk, unopened, so I will prove it to you that I did get something. I got it, and I but gave her, it to you. But her boyfriend, actually, every time, like, literally, like, Joe and I were playing, literally every time he played, he won. So, that was annoying. I have so, bingo a couple times. So, oh, I found the chicken place, so let's go to the chicken cutlet place. We are about to enter the best chicken cutlet, fried chicken cutlet, that you're gonna get in Taipei, and it is super huge. They, have, they have it in Toronto, too. They do. Well, it's from it Taiwan, Toronto, but I don't know if it's the same quality. But it's from Taiwan. No, they do. They show you yeah. all the. So there's one in so, Hong Kong, so. China, Macau. Oh, they Philippines, have it in Singapore, Singapore, Philippines. They have it in Australia, Indonesia, Canada, yeah. and, and Korea. Korea. So let me let me show so you. This is the OG one. So it's called large fried chicken and this is the brand you definitely have to go there's no other brand do you want your own or are we sharing should we share yeah spicy yeah so they marinated the chicken breast so sweet and then they bread it and then you can they basically put peppercorn they no salt Pepper salt, pepper salt, and um, you can ask for spice powder, spicy powder. So it's actually really juicy and literally the size yeah. of your face. And it's actually getting very tourist friendly because you can see. Fun you can see, you can say spicy, you can say not spicy, and then it has. Um, Chinese, English, Korean, and Japanese. So the chicken pillow is $75, but you will see how big it is. So I actually think the price for the amount is actually quite good. The 75 is like $2. Like yeah, $2. but 75 $2. people will think it's expensive, but like this chicken, Worth fried it. chicken, is actually really, really, Worth really, it. really big. And it's actually really, really worth it. So typically when I come to City Late Night Market, the two things that I definitely have to eat is the chicken, fried chicken, as well as the scallion pancake that I talked about earlier. So let's order and wait. One thing I want to tell you, Taiwanese people love lining up. So they will line up for anything. For, and for hours. So get used to lining up and but I won't promise you that just because there's a huge line it's good. Um just like the boba tea that Joe had today. But the line was, was in New York, not here. <laughs> yeah, but everyone in New York said it's mad good, but I don't I was not impressed. But I try I actually tried it off camera, definitely not good. But I'm excited we get to try it, so show you guys later. So after a whole like Three hours, like four hours of searching, we finally found our fried chicken. So I wish you I could just smell it. It smells smell a vision, but if you look, I obviously when I filmed it I couldn't show you guys exercise, but if you look, Joe touched the bottom and this is my hand. It covers like my entire, entire body. face. And yeah. I have a really big face. And even more than her face. So this is a really big chicken cutlet. So we got spicy and you can see there's some um, pepper salt. Yep. Smells amazing! It looks amazing! Let's eat it while it's fresh! So it's hot. But it's really hot, but it's really juicy. Woo! Oh, we got steaming. Not 
sure what part of the chicken this is to make it this big. I think it's the breast, but like they do pound it out a little bit, but it's still fairly thick. It's like the breast and kind of like the thigh area, but mainly the breast because it's white meat. If you look, it's mainly white meat. But it's so juicy and tender. It's not like it's not overcooked at all. You can see from here, like you see the juice. And the breading is so crispy. I don't know what they bread it with, but it's oh, I like do see the seam now. Super crispy. Ooh, lots of seam. Mm. Lots of seam. That's like a food corn. Okay, shot. If you can hear it's like really crunchy. <laughs> okay, my turn. I tried. Bye. Holy cow! Hot. <coughs> mm -hmm. Good. Oh, so hot! hot. Mm. So because their line is so long, it's always fresh. Like it doesn't sit there for that long. There's always people waiting, so they fry a batch and it's just gone. You it's always fresh. You didn't see a line today, but. We actually have to wait because you're buying a new bag. Mm -hmm. But usually they'll give you the bag. They'll ask you how many you're buying, and then they give you the, a paper the, bag. No, they'll, they'll give you the plastic bag first. Oh yeah. And then each bag symbolizes how many um, chicken, fried chicken you want. And then once you go, then you can tell them. And then if you want it to be more salty, you can ask them to put more salty. You want it more spicy, you can tell them more spicy. Just a little bit spicy, stuff like that. I don't think it needs to be more salty. I want another bite. The the pepper salt is really salty as is. Oh, it's hot. Look at all that juice. It's like dripping out. I don't know if you can see as it focused. Definitely number one recommendation when you come to Sleeling and Night Market. I think people might not say this is the number one known thing, but this is the number one known thing in Sleeling and Night Market. So definitely come. Every night market, as I say, has its specialty, and I definitely, I don't know, personally, I think this is the this. specialty. Mm -hmm. If I come here, even if I don't get the scallion pancake, I definitely will have to get this. Definitely. So definitely come and try. Yay! So we finished our silly night market tour. So um, yeah, overall, bought a lot of stuff. Joe is gonna go vlogging when she gets home. Yeah. Show you the Look hall. Here. The hall. <laughs> This is her being conservative, yes, and then I actually bought some stuff too, and then I'll vlog it when I get home. Um, so, hope you guys had a good time. Remember to subscribe and hit the like button to support. And then, today is Joe's last night in Taipei. She's going back to New York. <laughs> Should we sing New York? <laughs> That's the only New York song right now, so whatever. <laughs> but anyways, anything to say? Okay. Bye! <laughs> She's so annoying. So, yeah, until next time. Okay, so <laughs> please subscribe um, to my YouTube channel and then I will link my Insta Instagram and then you can subscribe to her Instagram, which is Alibi New York City NYC. NYC. So, Alibi A L I B I N Y C to check out all her jewelries and I also link it either on the screen or in the description below so see you next time bye, bye.